Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about March 11th uh, Legal Legal Legends DFS Slate. As you can tell, if you watched my video yesterday, I was not feeling well. I think I had a cold or something. Something's going around. I have a little kid in the house who brings germs from the you know their school and stuff like that. As I'm sure you guys know who have kids, but nonetheless. That's none of your business. We're here to talk about League of Legends. Um, but a quick recap about yesterday. We had another day of perfect uh, match predictions um, on our video yesterday. Uh, you see BLG winning two to zero, um, OMG winning two to one in you know in game three. Uh, and then DK, uh, D plus Kia, and then KT winning two to zero. You know, given their playoffs seeding implications, as talked about on that last video, so we're very happy about that. Um, you know, as a result, you know, we had a very productive and uh pro profitable DFS slate yesterday. So I hope to continue uh bringing that fire, um, not only for myself but also for you guys as well. Hopefully, you know, we the viewers and 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 the people can all make money today, uh, tonight, on a five-game slate. It's a very exciting slate, in my opinion. Um, but before we go any further, if you find my videos um, entertaining, informative, or just, you know, like the video, um, that, you know, uh, if you can hit the smash the like button below, um, that would be very nice of you and very kind of you. Um, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, it would just mean a lot. I know the other day we got up to almost 40 likes. Um, so I appreciate that. Um, you know, hopefully we get to 50 by the end of the spring split. So that's my goal. Um, if you can help me out, that would be great. So thank you for that. So yeah, it's a five game slate. Um, you know, it's a it's a weekend special slate. Um, as you know, five game, it's like exciting. We have tons of options. We're not looking for any dupes. If you are playing in the main GPP, 10K to the first place. So yeah, let's dive in. We have IG versus Team WE, minus 240, the favorite for IG against Team WE, who is coming off of a big win uh, the other day. Um, so I think it's going to be a fantastic matchup in my opinion. And then we have LGD versus TES. T Top Esports is a big favorite at minus 1,400. As you guys know, LGD has been one of the bottom tier teams in, in the LPL this season. Um, and then the third game in China is the, uh, Weibo Gaming at minus 280 versus Royal Never, Never Give Up, who is still living off of their past success, <laughs> to say the least. And then we have in Korea, Sandbox, a favorite at minus 260 versus DRX. And then T1, a big favorite against another playoff team, in my opinion, in HLE, who may have the worst jungler in Korea, in my opinion. So, all right. So, IG versus Team WE. Um for IG, it's been this exact same five, um, you know, maybe after one one or two weeks in, into the spring split after Dove got his visa, you know, uh, sorted out and Gideon playing at jungle. And they've been up and down, as you guys know. They had a very hot start to the split, but their schedule got harder and they started playing against elite teams and they started losing. And then they bounced back up. I think they... In my opinion, in my opinion, I think they're more of a gate uh, gatekeeper team, um, meaning that I think they probably would beat all the bad teams but lose to all the good teams. I think they're good. I think they're good. And and I think they may, may need some time to be able to kind of play together, figure figure, you know, figure themselves out and kind of find their identity. So far, their identity has been just all over the place, in my opinion. I think they're good. They have some good players, especially YSKM in the top lane, who's been a surprising, uh, surprisingly pleasant, uh, you know, overperforming his expectations. This split, um, he might win the Rookie of the Year award. Uh, this split, in my opinion, he has been that good. 
But Gideon and Dove have been a little disappointing throughout the split. I think they were okay um, early in the early in the split, as mentioned during their win streak. But I think they they are okay. I think the true I think the the second best uh, player um, for IG other than YSKM has been on in the bottom lane. And Wink, you know, going from being an A to carry last year and to support later in that season and then fully permanent support position here for IG, I think he has adapted his role uh, very well. I think that bottom lane has been pretty good, um, but they're going to be going up against Hope for and Iwandi in the bottom lane who've been really, really good, in my opinion, in the last month or so. Um, I like Team WE quite a bit, and Shanks, though, is probably the the best player for Team WE this year. Uh, this split, um, you see all the numbers and everything, and it really stands out for Shanks, in my opinion. I think he has been the best player for Team WE, and I think that's gonna be an issue again. Uh, for IG, um, I think Dove has been very underwhelming the last couple weeks, um, so I think that's gonna be a problem. But you know, the real matchup, in my opinion, as you guys know. A lot of my key metrics focus in the jungle position. So I think it's going to come down to Gideon versus Hung. And so we'll compare those numbers between those two. And Biu Biu just has been very, very disappointing, in my opinion. I really think they could use another top laner, but that's just my two cents. So, all right. So looking at the numbers, though, um, you see the kill upside is pretty good. Set at 25 over under and then 0.83 which is the highest um, on the slate. So this game, I would get a piece of both teams, IG and WE, just from just based on that kill upside standpoint. Um, so nonetheless, I think IG, you know, should win here, um, just given the fact that they have an advantage in the jungle control and the lane control and gold spend percentage difference. All these metrics you see on the screen, you have we ha I see that IG has an advantage, but they're not they're not significant. Like they're very marginal uh differences. You know, I think Team WE definitely has a chance. I think it's more of a toss-up than the odds may indicate. I think it should be like negative maybe 200 or maybe even 180 um for IG. I think 240 is a little too heavy. I think WE has a better chance than that as an underdog. Um especially given the mid, the matchup in the mid lane, right? Like that's, I told you that Shanks, his numbers are really good. And especially when you compare them against Doves, um, Shanks are much, much better, especially in the EGPM metric. So I like that. Uh, I like Team WE in that mid lane to have an advantage there. So as long as, I mean, Hung can hang in there <laughs> against Gideon, um, the metrics between those two are not that significant, the difference between them two. I think Gideon leads uh, by six EGPM against Hung. So just given all of that, yeah, I mean, IG should win. IG should win. And my prediction is IG two to one. Team W is a live dog, and this matchup has the highest kill upside based on CKPM. So I would get a piece of both teams for GPP tonight. So yeah, that's kind of how, that's kind of how I'm approaching it. I like both teams tonight. Um, if you are playing DFS. If you are playing a single entry, I mean, I probably would just play IG. Um, you know, like I said, I think, you know, if you have 10 times they're playing each other, probably six or seven times, six times, IG is probably going to win, in my opinion. So it is what it is. So, yeah, I think IG is going to win, but I think Team W definitely has a shot tonight. And if you are playing the underdog Team W stack, I like Shanks a lot in that mid lane. All right, the next matchup, though, is our <laughs> love or hate team in top esports. Huge, huge favorite at minus 1,400. Um, I don't think they deserve those odds, looking at the metrics, but my eye test tells me that they, they do deserve that. Um, as you guys know, uh, top esports has been 
has the potential to be an elite team, but there are some situations and some games they just throw and they just make the dumbest mistakes ever. And then like some some games they don't even try. Like they lose an advantage early game and then they just you know tilt and they they just don't even bother trying to come back. Right? They just make the same mistakes over and over and they just lose the game. So that is not the caliber um, elite championship contending team that i'm looking for and in a team like that but you know when they hit all and on all cylinders i mean they they have the potential and and the making to be able to be the best really in the lpl if not in the world i like Cheng tian tonight um you know given the, the latest performance that he's shown um but he's has a tough matchup he has a tough matchup against xiao shu even though like people have really never heard of or just don't know much about Xiao Xu compared to like other uh, more well-known players, Xiao Xu's metrics actually pop out to me. Um, he actually has a higher EGPM compared to Ching Tian, which is kind of hot. <laughs> I was very surprised to find that out. So I, I like, I mean, kudos to him. I think he has been, you know, probably the best player as sad as that is for LGD. So I think in every other lane, though, um, top esports has an advantage, um, not only based on the metrics, but on you know, in, in my eye, on my based on my eye test. I mean, you see Tian, Rookie, Jackie Love, and Mark, and you see, all right, well, they should win, right? So, all right, the kill upside though, twenty five over under kills, um, and then CKPM at point seven eight, which is slightly lower than the IG Team WE matchup that I just talked about. Um, and then and then you see the metrics, right? Like you would think that TES has very significant advantage in the jungle and in the laning, but they don't. Like it's only by 1.8% and then 0.4% respectively. And then you see 7.1% gold spend percentage difference, which is, I mean, really good, right? Like that is the highest that we have, well, I guess tied. Um, that is that is the highest that we have on the slate. So top esports should win. I mean, I think Tian has a tremendous advantage over Meteor. Um, it's interesting that uh, this these metrics GSPD and EGPM is exactly the same as the T1 matchup that we'll talk about later. So anyway, that's pretty interesting. It's kind of freaky. <laughs> um. All right. So yeah, top esports should win. Um. I'm not too worried. And also, I mean, don't even, I don't know. I think so, I'm, I'm hesitant to play LGD. I mean, I think LGD has obviously is a long shot, right? But their ownership's going to be low Um, in a multi entry GPP. I mean, I think they may be worth a try, worth a shot. But they, their, their, their CKPM uh, respectively is very low compared to like other LPL teams. You see, it's at 0.69. I think that could get juiced up um, just based on the matchup against Top Esports, who likes to fight a lot. But in any regard, I just don't see LGD winning a lot <laughs> under, these, under this scenario. I think Top Esports has had some scares throughout the split already, where I don't think this is a trap spot. Um, there are some trap games throughout the split, but you know, just given on based on the schedule and based on who they played last and who they are playing next, like I think that could be a trap game. As you guys know, like in any other traditional sports, you know, there are those games that you can kind of see it coming if you if they're looking ahead or if they come off of a big win, they they just let down here in the spot. But I just don't think just based on the fact that they have played against some bad teams and then also very good teams. I think they are good to go tonight, in my opinion. Um, so I like top esports. I'm going to say top esports wins two to zero. I think they'll take care of business tonight. And the kill upside, though, like I said, it, it is a little reduced by the fact that LGD, um, their CKPM is low. So kill upside reduced by a bit based on the matchup versus LGD 0.69 CKPM. All right. I probably will not have any LGD stack. All right. 
The next matchup in China is Weibo Gaming and RNG. This is an interesting one, right? So like, I have a pretty strong take. Um, if you guys kind of <laughs> um, understood my, you know, what I was implying to earlier in the video, I really do think RNG is not a good team this year. I just don't think so. I just don't think RNG is a good team. I think RNG has some fantastic individual players who may be out of their prime or who just don't really mesh well together on this team. I don't know what it is, but just looking at the metrics and watching their games has been very, very, you know, grueling. Like they just do not play well in any phase of the matchups. Laning phase, team fights, objectives even for way like I I see I just don't see RNG winning a lot of good lot of lot of games against you know good teams like Weibo Gaming and like Top Esports that we just talked about. I just don't see RNG kind of turning the ball turning the table around um, in the spring split at least maybe in the summer split they will kind of get the ball rolling. But just I've given them many chances to split. <laughs> um, hoping that, you know, I catch the early part of their turnaround, but it just hasn't happened. Okay. That's a long way of saying I think Wave will gaming is gonna win tonight, and that's gonna be my firm stance. Um I think that is also resonated by the fact that a lot of the betters are betting on. Uh, smashing on Weibo Gaming tonight. I think the odds started at minus 280 and now it's sitting at minus 300. And it's also supported by the fact, uh, by all these metrics that I that I value the most. Um, you see jungle control, lane control, GSPD, EGPM for all of the lanes. You see that Weibo Gaming has an advantage in every single metric that I look at um, and value the most. So I like Weibo Gaming tonight. I'm going to say Weibo Gaming wins 2-0. to zero. I think the kill upside is very good. And also, we have Xiaohu Revenge Narrative versus his former team. Um, so he will be motivated tonight. And... For Weibo Gaming, that's the thing. Xiaohu and the Shy have been probably been the worst players um, in certain situations, in my opinion. Xiaohu has been a little disappointing, in my opinion. And I really think, you know, mo the motivated Xiaohu, I think he's going to show up tonight. So that kind of has that itself, you know, gets addressed by itself. Um, I think the Shy has been up and down quite a bit, obviously. Um, a lot of people criticizing his performance, but against Breathe, who has not been performing well, I think I think it should be a fine, fine matchup uh, for Weibo Gaming tonight. So that's my firm stance. That's my firm stance of the slate. I think Weibo Gaming wins tonight. I don't think I'm going to have any RNG. Um, so that naturally means RNG is going to be the highest scoring team <laughs> to stack. So I, I don't know. So we'll see. All right, and then we have two games in Korea. We have Lip Sandbox versus DRX. Uh, Sandbox should win this. Um, DRX has been one of the worst teams, but the metrics told metrics say that Sandbox, you know, uh, it, it is not as significant as I thought it was going to be. But nonetheless, I think Sandbox should win this. I just want to look at the standings real quick and the playoff implication. Uh, see what they need to do. Um, so let's look at that real quick. You see T1, Gen.G, they've all secured spots. Oh, Sandbox has to win. Well, I guess, I don't know. The six, top six. They have an opportunity to go up to five. If HLE loses, well, they might lose. They will most likely lose tonight against T1. So Sandbox will be extra motivated to play. I like Sandbox tonight. Um, Sandbox wins two. I'm going to say two to one. 
I think DRX has what it takes, uh, given that they have a new jungle in Juhan. I like him quite a bit over uh is it Croco? Um yeah, the DRX has started. Um so I like DRX. Uh chances a little better than what the odds indicate. So I like Livebox, uh sandbox to win two to one. Um but this is the lowest kill upside matchup. So feel free to fade if you want. Um, so optimally, if you want to use sandbox um, in the team slot, I think that's what I would do. Um, so anyway, the lowest kill upside. So. And then ZKPM supports that as well. All right. And then the last matchup is T1 versus HLE. Um, this is an interesting one. And like on a regular game, in a regular matchup, I think T1 should win right away, right? I think I'm going to I'm gonna put these in comments. T1 should win 2 to 0, Um especially given how much better owner is uh versus clid who may be the one of the worst junglers i can't really see junglers in the lck however t1 has secured the round two of the playoffs and may experiment with different champions and compositions here tonight so anything can go for t1 tonight which can increase hle chance of winning so i think this is a tricky one to predict so i think this is a tricky one i think i think a lot of people will play t1 um, just based on that, I mean, all the metrics point to T1's direction, and T1 has been the best team in the LCK, but maybe in the world. Um, they they've just been lights out. You see that they have 14 wins and one loss. Um, clearly the best team in the LCK. Um, but as mentioned, you know, with the they just have no reason to play. Uh. You know they have they have some room. Let's say on, on you know on on the other on the flip side they have a lot of room to experiment to kind of try things that haven't been done and try things that wanted to try out. Um, and this is the this is the spot to do it. I think you know I think they want to have a good performance against HLE because knowing that HLE is gonna be in the playoffs, I think this is a good test for T1 to. Uh, you know, play against a, a, a good team like an HLE. So I just have a lot of uncertainties that could loom uh, from T1 tonight. So I think from the cash and optimal standpoint, I probably would fade T1. Um, they may bite me in the ass, but um, I just I just like all of the narratives. And obviously we look at the metrics mainly, right? Like, right, I'm, I'm a data-driven guy. But at the same time, like understanding the landscape of the playoffs and the team's respective um, motivation level and narratives and and the you know and the reasons, uh, you know, or the situations rather, I think that matters um, a lot in the situation like this. So, so that's a long way of saying I think T1 is in a tricky spot tonight. So that naturally means that HLE could win. So we'll see what happens there. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, video was a little bit longer than usual because it's a five-game slate. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Otherwise, uh, good luck out there. Um, if you like the video, please, please hit the like button below. Let's go. Let's get it to 40 likes. Um, that would mean a lot to me. And thank you so much um, for watching. Good luck. Make some money. Bye-bye.